The real enemy at present is incompetent administration, not an inanimate object across all four nations in the UK. Classic selective reporting, being economical with the facts, is used to manipulate people's belief about one thing or another. For example, the impression is given that coronaviruses are something new. They're not. There are four well-known ones, which we deal with from time to time. They cause common colds, so in general, coronaviruses are old friends of ours, and many of us are strong enough to deal with them by our internal system, most of the time. Through this site, one can find more intelligence than in the usual suspects, and much to learn. The real risk now is caused by a decrepit organisation overreacting to things they don't understand. Maybe some will learn a bit more as they go along. Further into the autumn, the UK government has moved into panic mode again and shown the troubles which have germinated. They are fuelled by an inappropriate test method, which is, to put it mildly, delivering fake results and scaring the public. There's an assumption that what they're trying to detect is a unique indication of a specific virus. Obviously, if it isn't, the whole edifice will collapse. What is not known is exactly when an individual became infected by it, so they do not know how far back they are looking. And there is a strong suspicion that many contractors are deliberately overcycling and producing false results. It is entirely possible that a person came into contact with it and dealt with it automatically, with no risk to a third party. It's also quite likely that many are simply wrong and invalid.